Istio uses a resource called Gateway to describe a load balancer that operates at the edge of the mesh and it's receiving any incoming or outgoing connections. In the current cluster, the only thing that I have installed is Istio. So let's see what happens when we try to curl to localhost. What we get back is an empty reply from the server. This means that we were able to connect to localhost. However, server returned nothing in the reply. Because we were able to connect, that means that there is something there that's listening for connections. That something is Istio Ingress Gateway that got installed together with the whole Istio installation. So let's look at the Istio Ingress Gateway. Let's type kubectl, get service, and pass in the Istio system namespace. And we're going to filter it by all the services that have the label app equals ACO ingress gateway set. The ingress gateway is the one that's exposed as a load balancer and it's exposed on the local host. So it was this service that was responding, well, not responding to that curl command that we ran earlier. In order to make the ingress gateway usable and respond to incoming requests, we are going to use a resource called gateway. Using the selector field, we are defining labels that indicate a specific set of pods on which this gateway configuration will be applied. With the port number, we are saying that we want Ingress Gateway to be available on port 80. Finally, we are defining the hosts that are exposed by this gateway. With the asterisk symbol, we are saying that we want to select all virtual service hosts from any available namespace. Let's go ahead and deploy this resource. We're going to use kubectl apply and pass in the file name. The resource gets created and you can use kubectl describe to get more information about the deployed resource. In addition to the information we provided in the YAML file, the describe command shows you some additional metadata such as timestamp or the resource version. In order to test the deployed gateway, Let's create a sample Kubernetes deployment. This deployment named hello is using a hello world image. Hello world image is a simple Node.js app that returns an HTML with a hello world message on it. Next to the deployment, we also have a Kubernetes service we can use to access the pods created by the deployment. So let's go ahead and create the deployment and the service using kubectl apply command. If you run kubectl get pods command, you will see that one pod is being initialized. Also notice there are zero out of two containers that are ready. One container here is running our hello world image and the second one is the envoy proxy that Istio injected into our pod automatically. This proxy lives together with our container in the same pod and it intercepts any incoming or outgoing traffic. After a couple of seconds, both of the containers should be ready and your pod should be running. In addition to the Kubernetes deployment and Kubernetes service, we also need to deploy another Istio resource called virtual service. A virtual service defines a set of traffic routing rules that get applied when a request is sent to the host. Just like with the gateway resource, we are setting the host's value here to the asterisk as well. Next, we're specifying the name of the gateway we created earlier that should apply these routes. Finally, we're defining the destination host and the port that equals to the hello service we deployed earlier. Let's go ahead and create this virtual service for our Kubernetes hello service using the kubectl apply command. If you look at the details of the deployed virtual service, you can use kubectl get vs command, vs being the shorthand for virtual service. You'll see that we have a virtual service named hello and an associated gateway named gateway and an asterisk for the hosts. Let's try and run curl against local hosts just like we did earlier and see what results we get back this time. This time we actually get a response back from the hello world container that's running inside the cluster. The request went through the ingress gateway that was controlled by the gateway resource and the gateway resource being associated to the virtual service 
use the rules to route the traffic through the Envoy proxy and finally to our Hello World container. Exposing a single service from a cluster is a valid scenario. However, in most cases, you will probably need to expose more than one service. In this next example, we are going to use a single gateway resource to expose two services that are running inside our Kubernetes cluster. The first service is for our existing Hello deployment. We want to make this Hello deployment accessible on the Hello.dev host name. For the second service, we are going to create a new deployment called HTTP bin. This deployment will be accessible through the HTTP bin.dev host name. Let's go ahead and apply these updates to the existing gateway. We also need to create the HTTP bin deployment and Kubernetes service. This deployment and the service are very similar to the hello deployment and the service we created earlier. The difference is in the labels, in the naming, and in the image that is being used. Let's use kubectl apply to create this deployment and the service. While we're waiting for the pod to start up, we can go ahead and create a virtual service called HTTP bin. In this virtual service, we are setting the host to be HTTP bin.dev. This is the destination host to which the traffic is going to be sent for the HTTP bin service. Now we can go ahead and deploy this virtual service. Because we're exposing two different services through the gateway, we need to go back to the virtual service for the hello deployment and update the hosts to be hello.dev. Finally, we can deploy this updated virtual service. If we look at the gateway details like we did before, you will notice that this time there are two entries under the servers. One is for the hello.dev and the other one is for the http bin.dev. Similarly, if we look at the virtual services using kubectl get vs command, you will see that there are two virtual services this time. Both of them are using the same gateway and two different hosts. Okay, let's see if this actually works. First, let's do a curl to HTTP local host. Notice that we got a 404 back and that's because we're not using that asterisk anymore and we're using actual host name. Let's update our curl command and provide a header called host with the value set to hello.dev and see what happens. This time we actually got a response back from our hello deployment. Similarly, we can update the header to be http bin.dev in order to send the traffic to the http bin deployment we created. If we would use a non-local Kubernetes cluster, one that runs in, in the cloud from one of the cloud providers, this hello.dev could be replaced by an actual domain name. Since the cluster is running in the cloud, the Istio ingress gateway would get a real external IP address. We could take that IP address to our domain registrar and update the A record. Using the A record, we could point our domain name www.example.com to the external IP address of our Istio ingress gateway. This would be an example how you could make your Kubernetes services accessible through the ingress gateway and through an actual domain name. 